Hey everybody, welcome to Next Commentary, playing cast in mid lane against Diana, looks like. Um, I'm taking Electrocute this game because it's a melee. Electrocute on Kastan is pretty good if you're against a melee target, otherwise Fleet is pretty nice because a lot of people who can harass you early um, are ranged and it just makes it so you cannot better sustain. But since I'm against melee, going Electrocute, still taking Presence of Mind, didn't really... I think Presence of Mind is just like, basically... A given for Kasten, so I kind of wanted to take that. Um, might be maxing, uh, might do like three point Q into E max. I'm not sure, we'll see. Depends how many times she actually W's my Q. It's pretty hard to actually harass Diana down. She, she has a lot of sustain, really. Um, because her shield's on such a low cooldown, and the shield's actually pretty big, so. And it's on a lower cooldown than my Q, so every single time I'll Q her, she should uh, use her W. So we'll see. I'm just going to try to keep the wave somewhat even. I don't want to push into her, and it isn't because she already damaged some of my back creeps, so... I'm gonna just Q that one. I don't want to step up for it. And if I Q her, it's not gonna do anything, so it's not really worth it. Okay, she has TP and so do I, so that's one big thing. So her damage isn't gonna be within kill range, most likely, just because uh, she doesn't have Ignite. It's kind of hard to kill someone on Diana when you don't have Ignite, so... Okay. I have better CS so far than her. I didn't miss a single creep. Oh wait. Oh, I missed one. Jinxed it. I have Taste of Blood, right? Oh, I have Sudden Impact. Alright, I probably should stop queuing her. Okay, I want Sudden Impact because it's on a really short cooldown. As soon as I get it up, it's going to be pretty nice. Like, uh, once I get my ulti. It's on a 4 second cooldown, Sudden Impact, so... Harassing her isn't really worth it because every single time I try to harass, she just shields it. So it's better just to use my Q on creeps just so I can get the... Get the wave. She went missing. That's not good. That guy... This is gonna be such a bad... Whoa, just leave. Whatever, they're on their own. There's a Thresh here, so screw that. <laughs> Whatever, dude. It was a one for one. That's honestly not that bad because... Uh... That was a 4v3, basically. I'm just going to back off here. Of course she can't land it on me, so... The only risk here is getting killed by the Thresh. If he tries to dive me and hits a hook over the wall, but I don't think he'll actually go for it. I'll probably reset after this. She was pretty low too, so I doubt that she can actually kill me here. Okay, so I'm just going to reset immediately. My CSing so far has been pretty good. You're not going to win early versus Diana, so... I'm going to go tier. Hit me with all your abilities. I'll be 6 on like 2 more waves. She shouldn't be 6 either then. Oh, did I troll? Yeah, I did. Alright. She deals 10 times more damage than me currently, so that was pretty troll because I can actually get Dove. 
unfortunate. Just try to bait harder Q here. I should be able to heal up a little bit off these corrupting potions, so I'm actually not really within that much kill range. One more creep. Level 6. I was looking at my uh, bar for my... um. Level up right here the whole entire time, making sure that uh, getting every mark for free. You're not wrong, bro. It's not like I can contest her as a Cassidy when I don't even have ulti yet. So I'm just gonna pink this, reset inside this brush. I'm pretty safe here. There's like a really low chance of somebody uh, just jumping over the wall randomly, like the Kindred or stuff. So I don't have to run all the way back to my tower to reset. Of course, going Rod of Ages just to be tankier. Um, because uh, Diana can one-shot if you don't go tanky. So it's normally good to go some type of uh, defensive. And in my case, it's HP. Because, of course, I have a little bit defensive with my passive, giving 15%. Should be able to one-shot these. Yeah, but 15% less uh, magic damage, plus just HP. Makes this sound pretty tanky. Helps versus this guy, too. So. Oh. Okay. I'm not gonna go top here. Yeah. That was pretty troll. I don't know why they did that. So I just get a free lane. Cool. I'll take it. Did I just miss that cannon? Nobody saw that. Maybe I can get one plate here. Easier W for an auto attack reset on the tower. In the past, you know, um, cast and W used to actually work on tower. Like the bonus damage. There's bonus damage, but they removed it. I guess it was just too broken. You see how it deals 77 plus 26? So the 26 would go on tower, but yep, they removed it. As you can see, I can actually go through her shield now, so I'm fine using the abilities. I'm not going to let this crash under tower, so I'm going to freeze it here so she has to step up, which just makes it a little bit scarier for her. Um, that's about it. It's, it's I can't really kill her or anything, and it is a little bit risky to go in on her, just because... Um, if I go in deep and somebody's nearby, it could be pretty bad. Her Q's on such a low cooldown, I can't just space check. Hey, right here. Should be able to kill her, no? Oh, I trolled. I got her. What? Okay. God, I'm fucking bad. I should have just killed her there straight up. As soon as I started tanking first, I don't think I can just go. Like, I have to tank tower for her to get in range and maybe she could finish him off. Because if I keep going, the tower's just gonna kill me. I think my R cooldown wasn't ready yet. It's a 5 second cooldown. Maybe I was... I, I played that poorly. I'll say that. Like, the E should have killed her, and as soon as the E didn't kill her, everything became bad. <laughs> like... It's fine, though. Man, this guy has four kills. Strong as hell. I'm going to say that he's topside here. We go on this guy, no? If Rengard is straight up ultied, I could have went. But now I can't. Oh. No, uh, no, uh, we can't.
You gonna flash for me? I'm gonna die. I got one though. There was no way for me to survive. There was just way too much damage. I went over the wall just to deal more damage with my Rift Walk there. I have my TP up if uh, they go for anything, but it looks like they won't. It's fine though. I'm getting like a bunch of free kills as Cassidy early on. As soon as I reach level 11 and I'm already pretty strong in like items, I'm going to be able to do so much this game. TP? What? If he flashes, I'm just going to TP immediately. No? Okay. So it was just a waste of a TP from her. And they got rift. Uh, plates are still not down for three minutes. What the hell? Hmm. He actually died to that. Ringer. It sucks. Mid lane is shoved in. They'll go collect it. I can go bot here maybe? No. Kindred's top. Let's kill this guy. Nice job, guys. Draven got one of the kills, so we got his gold stack. I got the other kill. I'll TP back mid so she doesn't get multiple plates here, just one of them. Okay, she's dead too. Nice, good job. She really greeted there for some reason. Uh, she took a tower shot, number one. She also put me in range where I can slow her, number two. It's basically those two things, to be honest. If she didn't do that, it would have been fine. I could never slow her, and maybe Rengar can't even chase her down. So, real big troll on her end. Maybe I could have went for one plate there. I probably should have not started running topside. That was pretty random. It, it didn't really do anything. Uh, I'm gonna just go this because they don't have that much CC, only Thresh. I definitely think that I might go Banshees this game just because these two. Uh, I think I'm gonna be split pushing versus them and it will really help out until they get Void Staff. I should be spamming my W more too, just to make it so I continue to- What the hell is that? Give me that Banshees. Banshee's first Diana. Wow, she's gonna deal literally zero damage. So random that she's actually going that. I don't know why that guy's trying to fight me there. That's why I rift walked away. I was afraid that maybe like Kindred was there or something. Even though like he predicted it. Pretty good prediction. It was pretty obvious that I was gonna rift walk away, but I wonder why he even used his ulti and stuff. It's not like he can one shot me or anything. He's a he's a thresh. Kinda weird. CS all these. I'm playing side lane because they're playing mid lane. Side lane is actually where Cassidy really wants to be, so I'm glad that they were able to realize that pretty early on. I probably should have went bot even sooner as soon as I saw that they were coming mid, but I wanted to see if maybe we could kill the Diana because she jumped on me, and then we could slow her, but we didn't get anything off of it, so yeah, probably would have been better if I just went bot to make it so we had more pressure inside the game because now somebody's forced to go bot and uh, we don't see anybody that can right now. Put a deep ward down. Deep wards are pretty good. Hopefully that guy doesn't kill it immediately so I don't waste my ward forever. Like, it will last a pretty long time, hopefully, basically. Hopefully, basically. What the hell? I say basically so much now. I'm not level 11 yet, so honestly, it's pretty hard to kill people. Also, I'm sitting on a pretty decent uh, cash amount of cash right now. So that also is kind of a big deal. My damage. The level 11 is the biggest thing though. Like one more creep and I'll be level 11.
actually, and uh... She's too close to her tower that I can't even kill her. Kinda sucks, but... I can poke her. Look at that damage. Dodge that, just to make sure that she can't ulti me. And I'll just run away here. I'm not gonna bother. Oh. Am I dead? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm dead. Just let me die. He's too good. The Thresh hook. If I just flashed immediately, probably would have lived. I'm a big inter. I knew that they were coming, but uh, holy shit, I'm just like the most disrespectful person on the planet, I guess. It's the same thing as her disrespecting mid. That's what I did bot. Hmm, you got hooked. Oh, nothing's gonna happen from it. I don't have TP yet. Uh, hopefully they don't... Oh my gosh, are they actually gonna fight here? Uh, ooh, Rengar one-shotting and AD carry. I bet you've never seen that before. Off of me. No, my Janna. You forgot it reset? What reset? Diana Q? Ooh, they're targeting me. Interesting. Hmm. Just use some of my pots here to heal back up. Nobody's defending top here. Interesting. Uh, I'm not even that healthy to defend it. Whoa, what? Alright, bro. I'm on the way. Cool. Good thing I turned around and stopped going top. People just want to force fights all the time. Like, there's actually no reason to do these fights except for that, like, I guess we have numbers advantage and the other team's just opting into it for some reason, but... <laughs> there's, like, no macro play that I can even go over at this point. And this is pretty common for most games, to be honest. A lot of games don't require macro play. It's not very common. <laughs> Like, I'll go top, I have TP, so I'll be ready for a fight. I'm probably just going to be side laning and using my TP somewhere. I doubt I'm going to be leaving the side lane unless I literally cannot beat the opponent. Which is actually a little bit difficult. I mean, I don't have my Archangels yet, and she is pretty strong. We'll see. As soon as I get my Archangels, it'll be huge. The only person that could be top right here is uh, Kindred and Kaisa because we see that Diana was bot side. Push this out. 600 stack. So I don't want to stay top because m my team has no pressure on the map. You see on the map that nobody's... If I went top, everybody could collapse on me because there's no pressure for them to be anywhere else. So they're allowed to do it because they, they don't have to be anywhere else, basically. That's, that's the reason why. Uh... Did that really miss? No. Okay, we can kill all of them down here. Yeah, I mean, actually, they're just gonna die before I get there. Am I dead? Janna? Janna, Janna. Okay, I killed Kindred. That Riftwalk actually fucked me. If I didn't use my Riftwalk poorly, I might have been in a pretty good spot. Oh my god, what? <laughs> okay, AD carry doesn't get to play the game. My Rengar is so fed.
I had a feeling that they were inside this brush, but uh, they ha didn't have crowd control, so I was fine walking into it. I didn't feel like they were gonna die. And we had our team that just won up here, so I figured that they could collapse, which they did quickly. So I was fine opting into the fight, and it's okay to die inside games too. Like, you don't have to play perfectly. It's not, I'm not like playing out of my mind. I'm like, I cannot die this game. If I die this game, the game's just over. Because there are games like that where like I'm the only Fed member on my team, and if I die, the game literally is over. But in this case, this game has so many members of my team that are doing pretty okay to the point that even if I am. going to die but we're gonna win the fight over it it's better to do that so no okay i can't even clear that word yet spooky Did i just go top here the only person that i need to be so there's a board right here at bright or maybe that thing is what they just cleared. I know Kindred's somewhere top side. I'm gonna go top here. I'm just gonna fix fix it. I have Rengar nearby me too, so. I just finished Archangels as well. So I'll just look to TP wherever the fight breaks out. Should be pretty safe here. I think if Kinder comes, I can actually kill her. Even with Thresh. I think. I'm feeling confident. And my champion. Oh? Okay, I think everybody's coming, so... Maybe I'm wrong, okay. They're all gonna die for this, but I'll be the the bait. I could just run away and go back in. I'm like kind of limit testing because I'm allowed to to see how much damage I really deal. The reason why she doesn't die that fast is because of this, and she has red smite. Red smite reduces twenty percent of my damage, and also she has this, which the Death Dance. So I actually, she takes the bleed effect, so it actually takes a while for her to die, so probably should have not uh, played so aggressive. Alright, cool. My Rengar is so fed. Actually, like, look at the levels. Like, top lane, I would say, is pretty even. Mid lane. Hmm. He has a lot more deaths than me, but I guess we're kind of even in items. So I'm not I'm gonna really say that I'm ahead. Bot lane, obviously I had like holy holy moly. But that was all me, man. I totally that one Rome bot where we killed both of them, that was the the play. Actually I don't know if he was fed prior to then. Maybe he was, but I'm gonna say it was all me. Not sure what she's doing. Yeah, you can see that I actually deal pretty good damage versus people who don't have stuff that reduces my damage by 20%. <laughs> oh, Kendra's gonna get one shot, right? Oh, maybe not. Wow. Look, the Rengar didn't even deal that much damage to her. That's crazy. The bleed thing is just so strong. Just one shot those. Just hitting this. Okay, they're already winning the game, but it's good for me to split push here. It, I'm not really useful in sieges. I'm a better uh, splitting champion because I have a good 1v1 and good escape, but I don't have range to hit towers, so. Now I run over. Really? Okay, cool. We killed them all. I immediately riff walked away because I think a call I thought a was gonna go for me, but she didn't. I was so close to killing Kindred before the uh, Kindred ultied. I okay. So one trick that I, I guess I've been doing that I haven't told you guys about is the R flash trick. Oh god. <laughs> oh no. Fringe. 
Um, but the R flash trick is basically you just use your R. And then after you use the R, you press flash. And what happens is your character flashes and the R has a cast time so you can buffer it. Basically, if anything has a cast time, it can be buffered. So what happens is when you R then flash, it's faster than flash than R because when you immediately R and then you use your flash, your flash goes off before the R cast and there basically is no cast time so the person can't react to it. So I thought that I was going to be able to one shot the... I'm going to go Sheen. This isn't standard. I would just go more AP at this point, but... I don't care. This gives me 40% CDR too, even though I'm about to get blue buff. Uh, ignore that. Um, but yeah. that The R flash trick is the only thing, I guess, important on Kassadin. Besides that, it's just about laning, positioning, making sure that you're flanking. I'm always looking to flank, right? Uh, if I have the opportunity to. Obviously, that wasn't really a flank, but... I know what I can do with the R flash, so I go in for it. I know how much I can escape, so I can play pretty aggressive. I have a lot of mana, so I know that I can stack my ulti up to 800 and still be fine, too. Ah, oh, she's dead. She'll die to the uh, death stance you saw. <laughs> oh, wow. The Banshees. It, it, my uh, Q has a travel time, so it didn't proc the Banshees fast enough. I'm just gonna dive here. There's no reason not to. I still have uh, Archangels, and I have Zhonya's, so I'm actually just gonna look for this Kaisa too, I think. Uh, maybe not. Got you. Now I chase you down. There's no way that you can escape from a cast then. Feels bad. And I'm level 16. <laughs> level 16 damage, somebody come out. Mm, you? You have Aftershock, I don't want to kill you. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the commentary. I hope that you learned something about playing Kassadin. And I'll see you guys next time. Double explosion.